supposed to keep on. And we're off. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Pull up to your screen and be hypnotized. <laughs> How the hell are you? It's been a hot minute since I've done a live stream. So, uh, we kind of had the summer off. Not for any good reason. It was just, you know, a little time. So, anyway, I'm glad you joined us here. And wait a minute. Wait, are you vaccinated? Are you okay? You're not wearing a mask. Are you vaccinated? Yeah? All right. He's back. So I can take my mask off. And you notice I am a little swollen here. I'm going to sound a little funny. Had a little dental surgery. Wasn't my idea of fun. But torture? Who doesn't want a little bit of that? Ah, so bear with me. And we're just going to plow through this thing. I've got a uh, special guest on tonight, which is uh, Bliss and Alpha. From your favorite band and mine, House Made of Dawn. Ooh, you may applaud in the chat. Uh, Bliss is in the chat, and she will be answering your questions, dropping links to things, because you saw the little uh, uh, teaser I put out, and the, you saw the album cover, the artwork and everything. And we'll, we're going to show you that again. You'll get the whole track list, everything. The album, All Hollows, drops on October 1st when it will be available to everyone everywhere and on platforms all over the globe. So uh, in the meantime, you probably saw what I put out through um, social. We're going to play that right now where uh, we, we came together to do a, a really nice uh, update upgrade of Monster Mash. And that's what you're going to see right now. They played the Monster Mash. The Monster Mash. It was a great old snack. They played the Mash. They could all in a flash. They played the Mash. They played the Monster Mash. And out of his coffin, Drax voice to grin. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. He threw open the lid and started waving his hand and said, Whatever happened to my orgy of the damn? It's not a match! It's not a monster match! The monster match! And it's a graveyard smash! It's not a match! It caught all in a flash! It's not a match! It's now the monster match! Yes, Monster Mash brought to you by yours truly and House Made of Dawn. I'm on a couple other tracks on the new album as well. So we're going to go through all of the dark, sticky details in just a moment. So uh, that is good. How are you guys doing out there? Where are you checking in from? How is everyone doing? What's going on in the chat? How are we, peeps? Well, so, uh, greetings, Dr. Lord. Ah, Sarah. Uh, says, uh, I'll give you four black hearts. Yay. Who, who gave me black hearts? Belinda. Belinda. Hello, Belinda. How are you doing, darling? Oh, says, good evening from L.A. Yes. They're checking in. L.A. based band, formerly from Chicago, which is where we met. Back before the war on terror, children. Long time ago. <laughs> and uh, as we... Uh, Anything else in the chat? That's it for right now. For right now? All right. So uh, some another little bit of business I want to uh, get out here for you before we uh, bring uh, Alpha and Bliss on from House Me to Dawn. Um, I am appearing uh, in a couple of weeks, and uh, it, it is the spooky season now. So uh, for um, I, I haven't been on stage in a long time. I am, I am performing and a guest at DeadCon. And put up the graphic it's for them there. Cool. Yeah, thank you. DeadCon, it's at the Grand Wayne in Fort Wayne, Indiana, October uh, 15th, 16th, and 17th. I will be there that weekend. Uh, the, the show is on Saturday, the 16th, 3 p.m. in Harrison Hall in Room C, Ballroom C. And that's where you can catch my show uh, from 3 to 4 p.m., I'll be down there the rest of the weekend, the rest of the con. We have a table. Come out, meet us, and um, you can get your own realm mask there. We'll have some of those for you. Uh, T-shirts, uh, copies of DVDs of Dark Realm, all that stuff will be there. So come on out uh, to DeadCon 
on 15, 16, 17 October, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Go to deadconvention.com for all the dark sticky details. And hopefully I will see you out in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana at the Grand Wayne. Uh, there, there's going to be a lot of cool guests there. Bai Ling from the Crow is going to be there. Uh, our friend uh, here on the, on the show, on the channel, Ari Lehman is going to be there. First Jason is going to be playing on Friday night. So uh, there's kind of a, a welcome party. He'll be playing there. My show's the next day. But if you want to catch Ari, make sure you, you uh, get there on that Friday night, the 15th. Um, who else again? Ernie Hudson's going to be there. And um, Machete himself uh, is going to be there as well. So you're going to, you know, going to have all kinds of cool, cool guests come out, see us. I hear there's going to be a TARDIS there too, which excites the hell out of Morgoth and myself because we're going to steal that thing and bring it here for you. And we'll go off for our own adventures in time and space and dark and sticky. All right. So uh, now, Jeff is yeah, from Northwest Indiana. who is Jeff? Jeff. Hello, Northwest Hello, Indiana. Indiana. Jeff, you're not that far away from Fort Wayne. Well, a couple hours like me. So, you know. Belinda is saying uh, she's good and she's watching from Virginia. Jim, Virginia. And then William All uh, right. is Hey Hey Master. Hello, hello. Uh, they forgot my name, but that's quite all right. Uh, and uh, asking how your mouth is, is it healing up well? It's coming along. It's coming along. I think there's still a razor blade stuck in there somewhere, but I'm other than that, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Shall we? Are we? Yeah, let's bring on uh, uh, LA-based band, formerly from Chicago. Uh, you know him from other works such as Realm, the Dark Realm soundtrack, and their first three albums, fabulous stuff. You know him. They're a friend of the channel here, and uh, we're going to talk around about All Hallows' Eve, their new album, which drops on October 1st. Here they are. Alpha and Bliss from House Made of Dawn. How's it going, Spook Show? Hey. We are good. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, I, I just wanted to, you to have a shot of my libation of choice tonight. Uh, turn him up a little bit so I can hear. Look. Should I, should I repeat? No, that's good. I can hear. Yeah, you speak that's... a little bit louder. Yeah. The mic's are low. Is it up? Okay. So you, you're you like your libation of choice tonight is uh, apothic dark. It's a red blend wine, in uh, it's very nice. Just a grocery store brand, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? <laughs> well, we'll get a nice bottle of Crystal and we'll celebrate on October first. You when bet. We launch uh, the movie. Uh, not, uh, the, the, the album, yeah, the movie. Week from I'm ready Friday. to make another movie. Yeah, week from Friday, All Hallows drops. Mm. Mm, yeah. Very nice. Yes, it's uh, uh, sangria in my sippy cup. Yeah, nice. Sang yeah, sangria in the sippy cup. Gotta love it. <laughs> well, I'll be headed out to Don Cuco soon. So. Yeah, that sounds like the name of a song, actually. actually. You just gave um, me an idea. We need to immortalize that in song. Do we not? <laughs> our, many, our many dinners at Don Cuco's. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Got to be out here for it, though, Spook. Got to be out here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm coming out because we have more stuff to do. No, oh, a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Especially once people get a load of the, the dulcet sounds of your voice on this record coming out. Yeah, I sound a little better than I do now because we <laughs> recorded this. Um, all the way up to about the point where I had the, the, the work done. Like and, the day uh, before. You sent me you sent me the last files like I the did. day before. I did. Yeah. I worked and worked and worked on that stuff, and then I wanted to do more takes, and I kept sending. So, yeah, it was up until like the day before surgery when I <laughs> – Yeah, and, uh, well, it all worked. It all worked beautifully. Uh, it just goes to, to prove that there is no rest for the wicked. And no wicked for the rest. That is very, very true. And that'll be on the next album as well, I'm sure. I think I think that's a that's that's the next record uh, track too. There, mm -hmm. that, that was good poetry right there. I like that. Quite not. Nice. Quite not. Nice. Yeah. So yep. Where do and we want to start? Uh, tell the uh, tell everybody out in um, in our audience. Say hi to everyone. Everyone, say hi to Alpha. Hello, everyone and, out there. Any and any questions? Please just throw them on in. 
as we go through, and we're going to talk about the uh, how this all came about. Because mm -hmm. uh, a couple of these projects go way back. We have talked about for many years, and then they 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 kind of formed on a couple of tracks on Scary Monsters and uh, Monster Maps, especially. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do those tracks for a long, long time. Well, yeah, and the the other track that you're on, El Dorado, was something you had done, you yeah. had been developing for a long time as well. So this album, kind of all together, was a long time coming. We we had first talked about putting out a Halloween record with with you on it uh mm -hmm. about three years ago three halloweens ago yeah uh the first that first halloween i guess it would have been 2019 didn't happen because it was just too close to halloween to do it so we we started developing it then covid hit and nobody yeah. could do anything um and so now we were able to to finally get everything developed and and worked out for this halloween and uh it, it probably worked out for the best that way and it is because even during covid and and and, and now afterwards as things continue to to linger in the land of weird um mm. uh you know just be encouraged for everybody out in the audience that are creatives and you're working together you know from great distances i mean at least we have the technology because i'm in chicago he's in la and we were we were working you know over the internet to to uh bring these projects together for you and i'm just geeked out of my mind that we could still do all that because I wanted to go do it with him there so he could give me immediate notes and we could be in the room and I was going to go out and record with him. And that was our plan at first, but that was not forming very well. And of course, once you really couldn't travel, that, that screwed the pooch on that. So we were just working remotely and, and, it, and it turned out great. Yeah, working remotely is not ideal. You know, and not if, you know, it's, yeah. it's always better to have you here so we can have that immediate kind of back and forth. We would get everything done in a day or two. Yeah. Um, and, and there's no need to wait on, on notes or, or anything like that. But by the same token, um, it, it barring that being possible, we do live in a, in a day and age where that kind of technology where that kind of thing is possible, where we can we can just go back and forth and and do it over time. And it wasn't like we had a a real pressing deadline on this, other than Halloween season. Uh, we really wanted October first to be the launch date for this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, we in in my household we call it Halloween the first. You know, right. so yeah, um, it, it just seemed natural to do it that way, and. Uh, I'm sorry, we're having some some things going on over here. That What's are... going on? Is, is 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 Bliss being naughty over there? Is she? No, what is she up to? It's our second born being a little bit weird. Ah, uh, yeah. But you know, what are you gonna do? Send, uh, uh, the, you well, should we mention that their their some of their, their voices are actually on here too? Yeah, uh, we. Yeah. I was able to, and and actually. Um, one of uh, one of my kids actually acted as associate producer on the record. Um, yeah. Did some. Uh, there are more. Very cool. Yeah, there are more like sound effects and drops and stuff than, than we use, usually use. Mm -hmm. And uh, she put those together for us. She engineered us in the studio a few times. Yeah, you yeah. know, she's learning the dark and sticky ropes. Put it that way. Yeah. Yay. So yeah. that's awesome, and they're on, and they're on, um, they're in the chorus in Monster Mass. Yes, they are. Yeah, which I yeah. think is so perfect. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, if you have the, if you have the assets, you use them, and you know, uh, you yeah, know, she was, she was willing to learn, and I was willing to teach, and you know, she, she took it when I yelled at her, you know, so. <laughs> Not really. That once or twice. Me. Put them all to work. That's right. Yeah, you know, it's only child labor if you pay them. That's true. You know, and I didn't I didn't pay her. So it, it can't be considered child labor. Well, that's very true. And it beats working in a factory or a coal mine. So, you know. Now, I think my, she might argue that, but, you know. Uh, they you might. Know. They, they, they just might. For they don't know how good they have it. That's uh, I, I know. I've seen it. <laughs> I know. So anyway, um, do we want to roll the preview yet to give everybody? Because this is our live stream listening party mm -hmm. with House Made of Dawn. So are you, let me know in the chat, are you guys ready? We've got a, uh, a video presentation where you're going to get a little sample of all 10 tracks from the, uh, the album. First, let's show them, let's, just before we get that, um, uh, uh, Morgan, give me, uh, let's show them the, the cover to the album. Yeah, show them the album cover. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. And that is that's bliss on the album cover right there. That is our that is our little bliss. The lovely bliss. AKA Miss Naughty Pants, as I like to yeah. call it. So yeah. She might be she might be convinced to make an appearance here tonight. She's oh, she's please. Right now. everybody she's in the, the chat, chat tell Bliss tell tell Bliss you want to see her on camera here tonight. Yeah. She, she she is she's lurking in there. She's lurking. Yeah, she's, but she's also she's, the IT specialist over at House Made of Donuts. So <laughs> she's got other duties she's performing right now too. Yeah, she's she's right now being Miss Naughty Pants with everybody in the chats. So yeah. well, and who am I to stop her from doing that? She's you're 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 talking, she's monitoring the chat. Perfect. <laughs> we'll have links for you in there too, uh in, in just uh, a minute, right after we uh, play you the uh, the tracks. We're gonna do, so now. Here's the, the actual track list. This is your first look at the track list. Yeah, let's see that as Morgoth brings that up for us. There you go. Those are your ten tracks, and that's everything on there. Take a gander at that, and then we're gonna play a little sample of all those tracks, and then we're gonna come back and talk about them and and uh, answer any questions you have about us coming together uh, and uh, making this um, awesome bit of musical art for you guys that is, uh, you know, you got to go go stream the hell out of it on uh, Spotify um, and you'll be able to, to you know, purchase the, the album and the tracks on, on all of the major uh, platforms that sell music and everything. All righty? Yes. She had a hand, she was tired of cat high beats. When I looked in her eyes, they were blue, but nobody home. But she could have been a killer if she didn't want the way she did. And she did what she did. She opened strange doors that would never close again. Yeah. 
to vanish from thy spirit shall they pass no They played the monster man. The monster man. It was a great old snap. They played the match. They could all the flash. They played the match. They played the monster match. And out of his coffin, Drax voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. He threw open the lid and started waving his hand and said, Whatever happened to my orgy of the dance? It's now the match. It's now the monster match. The monster match. And it's a graveyard smash. It's now a match. It caught all in a flash. It's now a match. It's now the monster match. It's a luxury. Sips of a new. Of course we could just get you. You're unusual. So tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. Just tell me what you want. Ah, well, we're going to need Alpha back. Yep, he's uh, and vomit. But everybody here is commenting saying how much they like the music. Awesome. It is great. I mean, that's, you know, why I have partnered with him on so many projects o over s uh, many years that, uh, you know, I just love the sound that House Made of Dawn has. And I love the way it, uh, that all that goth industrial sound, just something that, really appeals to me. I'm glad it does to you guys too. I'm glad you like it. Tell them how much you, you, you love that. And um, uh, do you have any particular tracks, anything? Uh, you can ask me questions while we wait. Is he, Okay, now we have Alpha back. How are you doing? Yeah, we crashed. I don't know what happened. Uh, okay. Everybody loved it so much they, they crashed it. Yeah, it was just too much awesome for my phone. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so are we getting questions out there yet? Uh, let's, see. let's see. Sarah says she needs this. Yes, you do. Uh, 
David says he loves what he's hearing. Excellent. Rebecca says darkest greetings from Mexico. Ah, Rebecca, Ooh. excellent. Hola. Mexico. Jeff asked if Howard Trader John is looking for a drummer. Melinda <laughs> uh, says amazing. Jeff has great songs. And then Howard Trader John put up their uh, link to uh, pre sale on Spotify here. So yeah, there's interested, you know that. yeah, there's uh, the, the, the pre-save link uh, goes to Spotify. So if you're a Spotify fan and you listen to that, most everybody has Spotify. Um, so go in there and you can pre-save it on Spotify. So you'll be notified when it drops and it's available to you to stream, you know, uh, yeah. on uh, October 1st. What that button does, if you're a Spotify user, um, it, it you, you press the button and, and it asks for your your uh, account handle and then what it does is it'll take all the tracks from the record once they're available and puts it into your release radar uh, which is a special playlist that that spotify puts together specifically for you based on your listening history um of new stuff that they think you might like what what that pre-save button it doesn't it doesn't give us any information so we can turn around and sell you bitcoin you know, it's uh, it really is just uh, it will it will put the tracks into your release radar so you can listen to them at your leisure and, you know, heart them, you know, whether or not you you want to, you know, um, everything like that. Show it, them it, some love. <laughs> yeah. um, the, and right now it's only it's only pan, um, sorry, Spotify that uh, has that option. The other streaming services don't really have that kind of pre-save option. Um, so you don't really have to remember when something is supposed to come out. It will just show up for you on Spotify. Mm -hmm. But the, the record on the first will be on all of the major platforms, Pandora included. Yes. So go, you know, hit that link and go and uh, get uh, signed up for your pre-save. Because you're going to put the link in a couple of times in the comments. Yeah. People have to scroll through every one of the comments, but you'll see it a couple of different times. Yeah, remember, um, uh, Bliss, put them in, in a block. Put them in like several times right together. It makes it easier to find for people. Did you catch that? Yeah, I'm just, uh, we're having technical issues here. You keep yeah. up. They, uh, she's, she says you keep locking up on her over here, too. Uh, so they she will. Oh, she... they will. They'll, the, the comments tend to back yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, she'll, she, she's, uh, she's on top of it. She just has to, you know, have the tech cooperate a little bit. But the I links will be up there. getting a thing. nice ball peen hammer and a rubber mallet <laughs> fix all of my tech problems. It certainly makes one feel better. It does. Yeah. It does. I don't know if it's an actual fix, but you do feel much better. Gets out yeah, the aggression. <laughs> and and what's, what's more important than our psychological well-being in the end? You know? This is true. It's true. It's self care, people. It's self -care. <laughs> all with a rubber mallet. A little self care. I guess. I guess if you talk to Harley Quinn, that would be self care. So. Yes. Totally. Uh, yes. So, uh, any questions on any specific? I got a question. Yes. What is the, your favorite song for both of you on the album? Ooh, that's good. Alpha. That's a good one. You. You first. Well, I think the song that's on the record that has the most meaning for me is the very last track, "Solid." Um, and this was, it was one of the, out, the tracks that was the last one to be written for the album. Um, and, um, it, it's, it's a pers a very personal song for me, uh, because I, I lost my father recently and, um, the, the Halloween season, although intellectually we all know is about the celebration of people who came before, um, he is his loss is the first one that was really close to me um that wasn't like a grandparent or you know a distant relation or something like that and mm -hmm. so you know i had him very much in mind when i was writing solid and um you know putting that whole thing together so i, I would say that one is the one that that i would cling to the most of all of them yeah very nice i like it and it's you know and how it wraps up the album too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine would. I, I'm gonna. You know, I'm what I'm gonna say. I, I, I. Well, there's a. I love everything on it. I mean, the more I listen to it, the more I, I'm liking all of the tracks. But I'm gonna say Monster Match because I'm just thrilled to finally get that thing done and out for people. We have talked <laughs> about doing this for years, 
Yeah. Uh, you, you, what, uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that, uh, well, those of those of you out there who are familiar with the arc of Ron's master illusionist career will remember the old uh, TV show, the old uh, public access TV show. Um, no, 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 it was local origination, which was an entire step above public access. Everyone wants to call it public access. It was local origination because I got to use the studio and I got help, uh, production help. Cable my apologies. Access, they just give you a camera and go, go make a show. Yeah. So, my apologies. I, I was slumming, but I wasn't totally slumming, is what I'm saying. <laughs> well, the, the, point, <laughs> the point, of course, being that people who remember that will probably remember Gabrielle, Goddess of the Vampires. Yeah. Uh, and she is actually my sister. Yeah. So I've I've known. Which is how from, we met. That's how we met. And so yeah. I've you and I go back that far i actually appeared on the 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 old uh the old tv show once or twice uh in yeah. in mob scenes actually mm -hmm. uh but anyway um it was back then when I, when we were first having one of our conversations when we just barely knew each other that and i i mentioned that i was thinking of starting up a you know an industrial band and calling it house made of dawn and doing mm -hmm. these things that you brought up i've always wanted to do a really cool really rocking but fun remake of Monster Mash. So this yeah. has been percolating since at least 1990, at least, maybe even a little bit before. Long um, time now. And I'm and, shocked that n nobody else big in the, in the horror space has actually done that. It was always a little bit of a holy grail. You know, no one ever wanted to touch it. It was, it was you know, it was kind of the epitome of the Halloween song. Um, yeah, and, and it it's just not never all really the playlist, occurred. and it's and it's yeah. like one of the first ones. I thought it came from the fifties because it has that doo-wop sound in it, but mm -hmm. it was actually it came out in and it was released August twenty fifth of nineteen sixty two, the original yeah. by Gary Boris. Yeah, uh, it was on the very very tail yeah. end of the doo-wop, uh, yeah. you know, uh, phenomenon. But uh, it, it's it's it, but Bob, it was always sorry, still, Bobby Boris Pickett. Yeah, it, it was always a little bit like Casablanca. No one ever wanted to touch it and remake it, not because it was somehow perfect, but because people couldn't really imagine it any other way. And yeah. even though I think I think we're very true to the original, we I think uh, made it very specific to to uh, the realm and what you're all about, what the realm lord is all about, um, and we made it true to Uncle Spooky. We, we clearly take it into the goth industrial space, thanks to you and your talents. And then, and then, yeah, there's, there's some, I don't want to give it all away right now. I want for you guys to experience the music as does, you know, the, the band. Um, uh, but there are some cool changes we made to update mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And uh, well, I'm going to like, well, you heard one of them already in the, the clip we played the, the, um, we, uh, when Dracula comes out of his coffin, the original line is he was shaking his fist and said, whatever happened to my Transylvania quiz? Mm -hmm. And we changed it to um, he was waving his hand and said, whatever happened to my orgy of the town? And, and, and let's face facts. I played an Dracula the... in a terrible little movie called Orgy of the Dam, Dracula's Orgy of the Dam. So that that is a reference to one of my movies. And it was just something to make it a little more dark, sticky fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and it, what? Let's face it, an orgy of the damned is way more fun than the Transylvania Twist. On any yeah. day, you know, yes. Yeah. So, and real so, or not, that is a better time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was kind of the 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 differences that that we made, and and this was really a case where I handled the music, and and Ron handled the 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 updating of the lyrics and stuff and we just kind of brought it together and brought the best out of the each other doing it um really really proud of it and uh we think people are going to really enjoy it yeah as am i yeah and, and please once you get this and you find it you'll find it on all the the other platforms and stuff share it put it on your videos for halloween and everything um if any of you i, I i'm on TikTok now yes i i'm on it i have a TikTok. Go find me on there. It's under Ron Fitzgerald's realm, and uh, you'll you'll find me. And um, uh, so use it on your TikTok videos, your reels on Instagram. Put it on there and show us your Halloween look and everything, and just have fun with it. You know, that's what totally. it's for. 
It's and you know, like you said, we made it dark and sticky, but it's a dark and sticky fun, and I think people yeah. will recognize it as as being very in keeping with with what you do in your aesthetic and uh, the yeah. the the fun darkness that is that is really the realm. Well, and it is, and it's an update. It's a, it's it's meant, you know, it's a little more for for the big kids, for the adults, because it's got, mm -hmm. you know, uh, well, what I, I what we would both consider, and I hope many of you in the audience would be. Be considered to be, you know, uh, much more modern, much, much uh, better and, and appropriate uh, genre kind of music for something like that. And uh, it just got some nice updates and it has an energy now that makes it sound like it's, you know, ready. You're, you're ready. You're ready for uh, your favorite dark, sticky party or Halloween party uh, when you play this thing. We certainly picked up the pace. On, yes. on, on the tempo, it Which is all it is a little more high energy, and it, it's a little bit more modern energy um, than the original. The original will always be awesome. It will always yeah, be. It, awesome. the, you can't. Yeah, the original is yeah. always going to be the original. That I mean, that's why I didn't try and do some sort of Boris Karloff accent. I just mm -hmm. put a bit of the English spin on it and did it in that way, which harkens back to you know Hammer horror films and all the classic monsters and things. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and think of it like a sequel rather than you know uh, a, a reboot <laughs> yeah. this is this is yeah this is a this is something that can i think really exist alongside the yeah. original um it, it occupies a lot of the same space yeah now another one i want to talk about is scary monsters because that mm -hmm. goes back i requested you to to make me a uh, a cover of scary monsters because i love the sound you have and I wanted that for my, that's like in the pre-show for the live shows and things like mm -hmm. that. You'll hear it at the end of the show again, because we've been using it, you know, uh, here on, on, uh, on the video world. So, more, than, more than any other one song, um, mm -hmm. the, re the remake of Scary Monsters launched House Made of Dawn. We did that very, uh, very shortly after we moved out here. It was about 1999, I think. Uh, 90, late 98 or early 99. And mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we had moved out here and we had, again, talked a little bit about, you know, doing this update of Monster Mash. And you had mentioned that you wanted to use more Bowie in your show, but there were always these kind of legal gray areas. You couldn't use the original recording in some spaces. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we we talked a little bit about you know trying to do it that way. So we did it, and it was yeah. the first house made of dawn recording ever. And uh, That's perfect. we we finished it, we mixed it for you, and considered it really an experiment. Sent it off to you, and then just kind of forgot about it. And uh, we didn't remember it really until very very recently, in the last two three years or so, when you started doing these live streams. And you started using it there. I was like, oh, wait a second. We have that. It, that st still sounds pretty good. And so when, when the All Hallows idea came about, it seemed natural. Let's, let's put Scary Monsters on. But we didn't have the sessions anymore. I, I couldn't find them. I couldn't find the, the old files that had the oh, I had it. Yeah. So I reached out to Uncle Spooky. And he <laughs> still had the original the original WAV file mix that I had sent him. Mm -hmm. So even though we weren't able to, to get the sessions and you know mix the track re like do a full blown remix like we would do nowadays we were able to remaster it and uh, we were delighted to see that it actually fit very neatly with everything we were doing now so that was a very much a happy set of circumstances yes and that's awesome because i am as all of you who watch this regularly know i'm a total freak about bowie i just mm -hmm. i love bowie you know always have always will and uh you know now that he's gone you know lots of tributes and stuff and we we were already we, we'd already done it you know we, we already yeah. had one for it so uh you know it, it's great and there's a lot you know a lot of love i wanted to mention too that even um our, our friend here at the channel our friend uh aurelio voltaire mm -hmm. uh he's he's doing uh the the black labyrinth he's doing it and which is his own uh telling of, of a labyrinth kind of tale a sequel nice. to it and and that's his tribute to David Bowie. Very so, cool. Yeah, it is very cool. So there is there uh, is still a song or two of David Bowie's that I I've kicked around the idea of uh, of recording. Uh, we I've actually talked to the collab our collaborator in New York on uh, the Grim Crow project, which is our yeah. kind of side hustle here. We've we've talked briefly about possibly doing a cover of uh, 
another David Bowie song. I don't want to say anything just now, but yeah. uh, but uh, we're that one. We're currently working on another original. We just released our first original non-cover song uh, about a month ago, and uh, we're working on our next one there. And you know, yeah, who knows? Zombie that, Nation, correct? Zombie Nation, yeah. Zombie Nation. That, so that Grim Crow Zombie Nation is out there too. You can find that on your channel. Yes, you right? can find that on, on uh, well, not on the YouTube channel, but you can uh, you can find it. Uh, uh, on Spotify and on Pandora, uh, Grim Crow made it onto Pandora. Good. Very happy well, about that. You know, House Made of Dawn's on Pandora as well. You bet. Yep. Yes. And, yeah. uh, so, and, and Pandora is kind of, kind of, kind of weird because they're very, very heavily curated. They don't let yeah. just anybody on. So the, that both of those projects made it onto Pandora was uh, a bit of a bit of a coup for us. Um, but yeah, you can find Grim Crow. One word, Grim Crow. Uh, on both Spotify and Pandora, and that's that's kind of our side hustle. We only have three releases right now, but there are more coming. Uh, da uh, David, the dude we work with in New York, uh, he's part of a band called Ninth Revival out there, and yeah. uh, he's uh, he's prolific, man. He just he he loves to record and release stuff. So um, anyway, we're a little off track there. Um, Excellent. So then, then let's yeah. talk about El Dorado a little bit. And El Dorado mm -hmm. was a piece that I did myself on some home mixing equipment and a, and a mic. And I, I had made it and used it in the show uh, back in the late 80s, like 88. I first mm -hmm. recorded that. And was that Labyrinth? Hmm? Was that Labyrinth, the soundtrack of Labyrinth that you no, used? it was actually, actually a piece. The original was a piece of Giorgio Moroder from the Cat People soundtrack. Cat People, got it. All right, yeah. well, I knew it was a David Bowie movie. Well, yeah, well Bowie, yeah, because Bowie does Cat People putting out fire. Song, yeah. Maybe that's the movie version of that. He's got another version on Let's Dance. But oh, yeah, a so that's connected. why you think of Bowie there, but it's actually Giorgio Moroder did the rest of the soundtrack. All right, cool. Yeah, so I used a piece on there because it had a nice syncopation to it and I could kind of put it out. And then, the then of course, it's, it's Edgar Allan Poe's poem, um, El Dorado, which was done towards the end of his life, and is something uncharacteristic for Poe as that it was more optimistic mm -hmm. than, than many of his other uh, pieces of work. Yeah, and uh, uh, and he knew his, he saw his death hoving in on the horizon. And yeah. El Dorado is all about, you know, you're not going to find paradise in this life. You're only going to find it in the next. Yeah. And uh, even though there's a lot of very dark language in it, um, you're right. It is in the end uh, a very a very peaceful resolution in this poem. You know, it's a yeah. very it's about being kind of at peace with what you are, what you've done, and and where you're going. Uh, I boldly ride. And ride. when you uh, yeah. when you first sent me your original version of it, mm -hmm. um, I. I I knew, you know, we had to do it, you know, but uh, there was no way we were able to use any of that recording because it was all copyrighted. It was all, right. you well, know. At that point, so, it was more like that was my demo for you. Yeah. Right. So we did that again. I kind of, uh, we kind of wrote a little bit of, of basic, the basic groove, the basic structure, sent it back over to you, and then you sent over your reading of it. Yeah. And then we dressed it up around your reading of the poem. And, you know, it was funny, too, because I wasn't entirely sure what the thing was going to end up sounding like at all. I didn't I just didn't have it in my head what El Dorado would sound like yeah. until I got your reading of it. And then as as I'm as exactly. you start working things around your your voice, you realize what the things about and what what your angle is on it. And mm -hmm. uh, the whole thing just came to life and then came together very quickly after that. I think after you sent me the vocals, I sent you a, a new demo about it like two days later, something yeah. like that. It was very quickly. Well, even when I played it for Morgoth early on, he he liked it. He liked oh, it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. one it's one of Bliss's favorites on the whole record. He has the Morgoth claw of approval. No, very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, the, when when Bliss heard it, you know, heard the the first assembly of it. Uh, before any real production touches came on and heard your reading and stuff, she was she was blown away. Wow. She was like, "Wow, this is really good!" And everything we added after that just made it better. And it's oh, it's yeah. a very all, the, very all of the polishing, the production, and the editing of of that, and I like the, how it echoes, trails off, and everything. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's it, it all came together very naturally, and you gotta love it when that happens. When everything just kind of falls into place, like the pieces of a particularly easy puzzle, you know, it's yeah. it's it's very satisfying when that happens. Yeah, Man, you're on you're on one other song on the on the album. Yeah. You did not hear it in the uh, in the and preview. It, and it sounds a little different than me because he processed it a bit too. Yeah. Uh, I, I tre treated it more like a sample, but Ron does appear at the very beginning of the second song on the record, I Come to Collect, which is our... I love that song, too. That's, thank you. Yeah. It's our Grim Reaper song. So yeah. who better to, to introduce the song than, than Uncle Spooky himself? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so 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 our, our dear friend Ron is on three, three tracks on the record not just two ah, 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 three tracks yes he counts mm -hmm. you look i don't have the count puppet somewhere otherwise he'd be in here but then i don't i don't that, feel that, lucky that would just that anger voodoo baby so you know no well, other voodoo puppet. baby He's got an exclusive the voodoo baby is an acceptable you know replacement <laughs> for pretty much anything. Uh -huh. baby's gonna be in the next album <laughs> Wow, now uh, there's a concept, huh? Yeah, I, that uh, it would have to be a particularly strong concept, I think. I would I would be sitting there in the studio just laughing the entire time. <laughs> Was that your idea, Morgoth? Yes. Was that yes. you just not coming up with that? All right. Yeah. That's why you keep your chain back here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although I do like that idea. We'll have to think about a Voodoo Baby song. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure we could come up with something. Oh yeah, on on Al Hollows to the Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, we'll be doing sequels. Yes, yes. Oh yeah. So I love that song. Are, are there any questions from anybody about anything we've talked about or uh, any of the other songs off of here? I would like to also point out that uh, El Dorado is not the only Edgar Allan Poe song. On the no, record, that's true. Uh, There's also my actually my favorite Edgar Allan Poe poem is "Spirits of the Dead," and um, you heard that one. It's uh, track number five, I think, on the record. Um, it, it was the it was the ballady one with all the orbs floating around. Yeah, that is that is also an Edgar Allan Poe one. More Jeff Poe. Has, Jeff has an idea. Yes. Uh, Baby, the musical. No wow, problem. I was kind of thinking that. Yeah. Oh, all right i'm on board <laughs> nice all right voodoo baby the musical everybody so, uh, are you guys going to be doing any kind of uh, videos for any of the songs oh morgoth wants to know if we're doing videos for the songs uh well do you want to talk about our ideas for monster mash well not fully because i don't want to give everything away but we do want to create a full you know, video version, a fully produced version of a video for Monster Mash because we yeah. have uh, it, it, it just it, it is perfect for giving you guys a great video to go with it. We wanted it to be done for the launch, but there was n no way to get that together. No, uh, I, not, not working remotely, not not to get what we want. We, so we, we're hoping that for next year we'll be able to launch it and um uh and have some other fun stuff to go with that we want to produce a full music video to go with it uh yeah i can see it in my head but i i mean there there was no way to do it quite yet you might see some other things some lyric videos and other things in the meantime uh and some smaller yeah content, we, form, short form but, we do we do a lot of uh lyric videos we have a few on our yeah. youtube channel and i could definitely see some some lyric videos happening with that but uh, yeah. as far as like full blown, fully produced music videos, we'd have to see how it goes. Really, you know, especially yeah. if, if Monster Mash uh, does well, I could totally see us doing a, a full blown uh, video for it. Um, yeah. And just just like everything else, it, every COVID does still have everything kind of monkey wrenched right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that would be awesome. I would love to love to do a video or two. Yeah, we will. We will get there. Francesca we, says, yes, please, do video. <laughs> ah, Francie. Yes, so. All right, we will we will get you video. We will get you video. I'm not sure when for the full one, but <laughs> they'll, they'll be, they will be forthcoming at some point. 
Yeah, we won't just forget about it. No, we'll 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 figure it out. We'll, yeah, we'll figure yeah. something out. We'll delve into the multiverse and come together that way. <laughs> Maybe if we steal the TARDIS and we go to that's Dead right. Time. We go to a COVID-free timeline and we're good. Yeah. Yeah. If only. If <laughs> hey, don't count anything else. We're in well, the quantum realm here. We can fix things. We're good. I've been more and more convinced lately we're living in the matrix as it is. So well, that we might be, but it's still quantum. Yeah. Yes. So, any questions in the chat? Anything specific? Uh, please tell Ron. Love you always. Much love, much dark sticky love. I'm sure she to you. also thinks that it's awful. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, Alex Raven says, "Can't uh, can't wait for it to drop." Awesome. Neither can we. Friday, if October first. We're getting 1st. close. Yeah, a uh, week from Friday. And uh, it, you know, well, as, as we will, as we as it is right now, you if you're watching it on the replay, October first. So if you're seeing it before, mm -hmm. use the use the save link for Spotify. If you're seeing it after October first, then please go on over to Spotify and enjoy the hell out of music. Yeah, well, and you know, Bliss is dropping the the links in the chat right now. So I mean, yeah. you won't even have to do Down anything. Chat, about it, everybody, links in the chat. Show us your devil horns, links. In the <laughs> there you go. And remember, remember, uh, we should do this right about now. Follow House Meet of Dawn and myself, uh, Ron Fitzgerald, under Ron Fitzgerald's realm, um, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, them, especially on Spotify. Uh, you can add them to your Pandora and um, find us both uh, on YouTube as well. We are tantalizing. We are tantalizingly close. Housemate of Dawn is to having to getting 500 followers on Facebook. Check so that is beautiful. yeah, if anybody out there could put us over that, you know, 500 uh, 500 follower mark, you know, good karma will come your way. Yes. Well, I'll make sure that. And again, down in the not in the chat, but in the uh, the video description on uh, YouTube, I will put a link in to your channel so you guys can go over and like his their channel mm -hmm. house me to dawn and if you're new to all of this then please you know uh subscribe and and like uh my channel as well and the video and comment and um yeah we're not that, difficult to yeah. find we, no. and we are neither of us difficult to find we're we're all over twitter we're all over uh facebook we're not you on tiktok yet exactly. but it, it will probably be coming you know yes. how would you but like uh, Okay. All right. We're coming up on the top of the hour here, so we're going to wrap up shortly. Oh, okay. Uh, Alpha? Jeff said, ask Alpha, is yeah. there any chance for a secret October reunion tour? Uh, no. None whatsoever. Uh, not at this point, no. None whatsoever. No. And, and you're, uh, yeah. Um, I love the question, but the answer is no. Yeah. Yeah, you can come see me at uh, at Dead Con, Dead Con, Dead Convention, and uh, there will be there will be other things too. Uh, I'll also be at the uh, uh, I'm uh, scheduled to be at the Halloween flea market in Illinois here um, at uh, on the thirtieth on Devil's Night. Fantastic. Yes. At the other Devil's. Things Ball. are going to be there will be another live stream show. For Halloween, there will be um, other things coming up as well, but there's still not. There, there are places and other places not. Uh, not a lot of live things going on, sadly. It's just going to take some time. It's the nature of the beast. Yeah, the, the unvaxxed are dying off, so mm -hmm. we'll have and we'll have a full blown cool zombie apocalypse to play live to. Well, so. you know, one can only hope. <laughs> <laughs> it is a it is a possibility in the quantum so somewhere i was about to say i mean i what else can go avoid on? that timeline in the multiverse that's what we yeah have. yeah i mean we you know we just put out a song called zombie nation why not yes exactly it'll promote the music yeah you bet uh-huh have we gotten have we gotten bliss 
to show her her lovely face on camera. Yeah. I, on. I think I think it's time. I, I think we got to do like Peter Pan, where we all just like clap until she shows up. Yeah. You know? Think happy thoughts, everyone. Start clapping, honey. Here she comes. Are you serious? We're totally serious. Hi, yeah, Alex. You're serious? <laughs> Yay! Nice to see you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. I can't. Hey. <laughs> so, we're having some difficulties over in the chat. So, hopefully, it won't look weird if you when you replay it. I hope it all works out. There was a lot of um, locking up and restarting, and then it'd be like two minutes beyond where it was left before. So, it, it all good from what I'm reading. Okay, cool. Yeah, everything seems to be good. So, you know, you got the links in there, you know, and now you're on camera and you're lovely. So, we thank you. <laughs> thank yeah, you. yeah, okay. uh, the pants. Step uh, back. Really? Yeah, Miss yeah, Body really. Pants. Yes. There we go. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll have to look at the replay, but I'm sure if, if it's anything <laughs> like these Scarlett Johansson um, Avengers butt shots, I will be happy with that. Thank it's, you. It's no, close. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's that false modesty I love. Well, yeah, come on. You're on the album cover. You could at least, you know, pop in here and say hi. Yeah, but the, the album cover is the album cover is a cool ass priestess robe. Yeah. That uh that uh we can never get enough of around here. Mm hmm We like well, isn't that also her on the on the artwork for your single from earlier in the year that we, we talked about on here? Um Bounce. Bounce? Mm -hmm. that's yep. her corseted back on there too. Isn't yes, it? that is that is her that is her skin you're seeing. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is bliss skin. That's oh, right. That awesome. well, I'm going to start calling it bliss skin. No, I'm not going to do that. Like I'm that. not going to do that. No, no, that's that's cheesy. <laughs> I'll come up with something. But you know, naughty pants and and bliss work. You know, bliss yeah. naughty pants. So yeah, we dig it. So all good. So uh, wrapping up here, is there anything else you want to uh, uh, tell the audience or anything? No, no, only that. Uh, only that. If we've said it once, we've said it a million times. Um, supporting independent musicians, artists is in, insanely easy. All it takes is clicks. A click here, a like there, uh, a, a two minutes of your time to listen to a new song. You know, any every little thing like that. You know, helps immeasurably. Just just hitting pre-save on Spotify. And the links that Bliss is yeah. putting out to the chat helps immeasurably. Helps mm -hmm. helps get us in front of the algorithms. Helps get us in front of you know people who could put these things into you know commercials or films or what have you. Um, and there's really there's really nothing to it. So anything you can do helps. You know, follow us on Facebook. Get us over that 500 hump. Um, would really help immeasurably. And and we don't spam anybody. You know, we don't we don't use your information for anything. Um, so yeah, just um, if you if I hope you like the record. I hope you enjoyed the preview video, and uh, I hope you you give us a stream or two. You know, once it goes live. In oh, about yeah, two. I, I mean, I think they already do. I mean, everybody down there that uh, showed up live here anyway is loving the music. And if you're seeing this, like I said, on the replay later. You know, let us know. Leave it down in there, and um, mm -hmm. and uh, go go check it out, and um, and tell us what you think. It's very easy. Yep. Yeah. And all the and he's right. Uh, support it if you like it. Support it. Share it. Mm -hmm. Yep. There it's you always go. All right. So we're gonna wrap things up here once again. Thank you to um, Alpha and the lovely Bliss. They're at House Made of Dawn. A round of applause for House Made of Dawn. Give them thank some you, devil Spooks horns Show. at home. Always good to see you, Spooky. Uh, thank you very much. Always good. Thank you again for having me on this. I love working with you and actually being able to participate with vocals. Yeah, it was it was a long time coming getting this done. And I just say all I can say is let's do it again. We will. And and it was worth it. It was it was worth the wait. 
Absolutely. And so I hope you guys out in the audience think it was too. Well, you weren't waiting for it, but we were. So I mean, <laughs> at least you were. Well, you hopefully were waiting they're waiting for, for it. Now. We're talking about some of these things. So hopefully they're waiting for it with beseeching hands. Yes, you and you I need you this record. This. It's all themed. It will make your spooky season even more awesome. Right. Of course. Right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for showing up tonight. We'll be out uh, with more stuff uh, very soon. Some more live streams coming up in the season, as well as uh, other uh, pre-produced fun. And uh, we will see you all here in the realm. Uh, so thank thanks, you all. Guest house. Huh? Yes. Oh, just thank you. Thank you all. All right. Thanks again to my my guest house made it on everybody. And uh, thanks to Morgoth, Mrs. Morgoth, um, all you guys in the chat. I'm uh, Ron Fritchill, Master of the Dark Realm, signing off. Hello. Hmm? You find it? Okay. We're having a little trouble signing out. It's coming. Mm hmm. Devil horns, everyone. Put up your devil horns. It'll fix the problem. You know, they say that place is haunted. Like the Phantom of the Opera, only for real. We should fit right in then, don't you think? This is dark, sticky, vampire fun! Hit it!